back off. Turn your wheel that way. This is Scott with Nexus New England. We're here at a sunny Sunday morning at CJ's uh, for the um, coffee run for the fallen firefighter Jim Rice. Uh, we're raising money today for his family. And we're here with Alex Goss. Yep. Uh, Alex, uh, you're part of STAR? We are. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about STAR and your yep. car? Uh, STAR, it's a Senior Tour Auto Racers. It's a vintage racing club based out of New England. It's we have everything from 36 Chevy Coupes, the old coaches, um, all the way up to 79 Pintos. It's, the cutoff is 1979, anything older than that, it's pretty much legal. And it's just basically to showcase what racing used to be. Mm -hmm. it's, we uh, tour all over New England. We have our first race is May 25th at Lee, New Hampshire. Okay. And we have a double header for Lee. And then the next night we're at Star also in Lee, New Hampshire. And we go all the way up to uh, Riverside. We go to a couple places in Maine. We go to all the way up to upstate New York. Uh, all over. All over the place. Like it's almost like a touring. It is. It's yeah. a it's a touring club. It's yeah. we. I don't think we do the same track two times in a row. Great. So just to kind of give it give the people a taste of what racing used to be. That's good. So nice, nice old school racing. Right. right. Yep. <laughs> uh, can you tell me a little bit about the car? Yep. It's a uh, 1974 Vega. Mm -hmm. It's we. Uh, bought it last year from my uh, close friend who was also in Star who uh, passed away unfortunately mm -hmm. and it used to be the Jeff Bodine a tribute car and whenever we got it we um, decided to make it our own so we went through and we did a complete restoration we painted everything uh, went through the motor cleaned that up a little bit um, you know put the decals and stuff on ourselves, and uh, basically made it our own car and, and so. how many uh, races has this been in so far this has been in, as this paint job, it has yet to be in a race. Oh, wow. So but we've got it in, like, the pristine condition yep, right it's, now. It has not been in a race yet, but the car <laughs> itself, I honestly have no idea how many races it's, it's been in. A, it's been in a lot. It's been well, in the... Maybe, maybe we'll be able to make it up to your first race and, and hopefully, film that. And hopefully. Hopefully. We'll <laughs> look forward to seeing you. And we're here with Chris from CJ's. How are you doing today, Chris? Very good, thanks. Good morning. Uh, we're going to talk with Chris a little bit about his place and what he's done since it's been um, Riley's. Uh, yeah, it was uh, formerly Riley's Roast Beef, which was a great hangout for uh, antique cars and modified cars uh, alike back in the, uh, throughout the, throughout the 90s. And uh, they closed in, I believe, uh, 2008. And it sat vacant for a while. And I grew up in Framingham and worked at this place in the early 90s. And it always sort of broke my heart to come back and see the place empty. So, so uh, you decided to come and buy the place. Why not? <laughs> when in doubt, buy it. And so now we're uh, back in full swing and, and uh, things are...
Things are great. The food's been upgraded. People are really enjoying it, and uh, I couldn't be happier. And you got you serving breakfast now too. Yep, we do breakfast. So uh, we're open six days or seven days a week, six a.m. every day, and uh, we just took best sandwich in Metro West, best breakfast place in Metro West. Uh, so evidently, people people are really digging us. Racking up the awards already. Yeah, the awards. When hopefully the money will come soon. <laughs> well, it's soon to follow, yeah. right? Well, you can't. The last time I checked, I couldn't pay the mortgage with a trophy. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to take a look inside, and uh, we'll catch you in a few minutes.
All right, guys, we are here. We've made it to the North Shore Mall, and as you can see behind us, there's the PB Fire Department, and this is all for Jim Rice and his family. Um, if you don't remember, he is the firefighter that lost his life the day before Christmas Eve, and really good turnout, really cool cars that showed up, um, and actually a couple of cars joined us on the way when we did the run, so it was really cool. I, I, I'm, in, I'm impressed. I'm shocked at, at the outpouring of support that um, this little group uh, showed today. It's, just, it, it's overwhelming, and thank you guys. You, know, you, you got to feel good when you help out a family for someone that has, you know, done something very heroic and given his own life uh, to, to, you know, def not, well, not really defend, but help, help, you know, his community. And, uh, you know, it's been a great run today. Everybody's showing up in full force to support. Uh, we thank everybody for coming on out today. All right, guys, we're here with Chuck, and he brought a car that is, needs no introduction. Uh, last show we showed you a couple of Shelbys, and you know that Carol Shelby just passed away. Well, this guy has one heck of a Shelby. Um, thank you for coming out here for the coffee run. No uh, problem. Tell us a little bit about the car. What, what year is it? Uh, it's a 2010 Shelby GT500. It was built by Galpin Auto Sports, which is better known as Pimp My Ride, <laughs> from uh, California. Uh -huh and I imported it here back to Massachusetts to Saugus and it's pretty low mileage and it's pretty powerful it's 630 horsepower. So we didn't see you down at CJ's and it was nice to see you pull in here at, in Peabody and I was just like uh, you know we appreciated all the Camaro guys that showed up and it was nice to see actually a couple of Mustangs show up up here so yeah, again Chuck thank you so much for coming pleasure. out. All right guys well it is exactly noon time and we are done we are here with the PB Fire Department they absolutely, amazingly, just showed up with these awesome rigs. Um, we did an amazing job today. $316 from all the people here that showed up. I want to present this to you. Thank, Thank you so much for uh, letting us do this. This has been Thank an you. honor. Thank you very and, much. And uh, letting us know about Jim Rice and his family. Now, I'm not just talking about his wife and three kids. I'm talking about his family. So, again, guys, thank you so much for everything that you guys do. Thank you. 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 Thank Thanks you. for everything. Thanks, guys. Thank you Appreciate you. it. I gotta shake all your hands. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Cool. Thanks, guys. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Thanks again, guys. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. All right, guys. Uh, we're closing up shop here right now. We got the Star Car loading up. Everybody turned out for a great cause today for Jim Rice's family. We appreciate all your support, and uh, hopefully, we'll be doing another one of these pretty soon. I think we have plenty of time to plan for the next one. And uh, I think I was looking back. At our first kickoff show actually had a run, too, from Natick to yeah, from Waltham. Yeah, well, up to Uno's in Waltham. I was so. thinking about that on the way up here. I was like, you know something? We did this something like this before, and it was actually the <laughs> first <laughs> show we'll, that yeah, we did. We'll probably keep doing the you know kickoff as a run. Yeah. You know, I think it's a good idea, and it gets the momentum going for people. Yeah. and. Uh, you, know, you always kind of pick up some people along the way too on, on some of these runs. Yeah, speaking of that, yeah, seeing that uh, that Audi R8 or the V10, that thing oh, is, yeah. is insane. And then a bunch of the Mustang guys saw a bunch of Camaros drive by, so you know they they turned around and followed us up here and uh, you know donated some money for uh, Jim Rice's family and everything. So again, all in all, it was really cool, and uh, I think we had a great time. And again, thanks to everybody coming out, and we will check you uh, the next episode. Yep. Yeah. Check us out on our YouTube and uh, our Facebook. We'll be posting pictures and videos of uh, everything we've done today. Yeah, and that Facebook is what? <laughs> <laughs> Nexus New England, and our website is nexusnewengland.com. All right, guys, check you later. Everybody wants to go back old school. Well, we're going really old school. I'm in my hometown of Waltham and we are one of the first automobile manufacturers